Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a Twitter feed to your Weebly site. Uh, in a future video, I will do one on how to add a Twitter feed to a WordPress.org site. But today, I'm focusing on Weebly for simplicity's sake. First things first, you'll need to log into your Weebly site. And to save time for later, you will also need to log into your Twitter account. I have already done both of those. So I'm going to go into the backside of my Weebly portfolio that I have set up. Once you're in your editor, you'll need to come over here and scroll down way to the bottom. And you'll see a add app button. And you'll need to select that. You'll see this get social, you can click view apps, you can see what they have available, but from looking at some other ones, I'm not a fan of some of the ones they have. In the search bar, you're going to find an app called Tint, T-I-N-T. -T. As you can see, it is free. Don't let the two stars fool you. I think it's a pretty good app to use on your Weebly site, but I already have it installed. This is what it'll look like once it shows up in your, I don't know what to call it, dashboard? Widgets? Sidebar? We'll call it the widget sidebar, even though that's way too many words. <laughs> the next you'll need to find a page to put it on. I'm going to go put it on my blog-esque page on this site. I'm going to put this feed in the sidebar. So from your widget sidebar, you'll need to click and drag this over. Make sure it's top aligned or aligned however you want it. Then this will show up. You'll need to click set up your social feeds. Then a window like this will show up. And on a free account, you can either connect the two or three different profiles at once. In this case, I'm showing you how to add a Twitter feed. So we're going to select Twitter. You'll enter your Twitter handle, click add. You'll need to authorize the app and give it a minute or two and voila you have all of your twitter posts from your handle if you want to remove or add a feed deal with that down here if you want to remove it remove it there or edit the name uh, there's some personalization options you can deal with the colors you can add your own banner or background image if you want i'm just going to leave those as is once i am done i can close out and everything will kind of refresh and it will resize to the width it's not scrolling right now but once we hit publish to publish everything and all the changes we've made we'll come over back to our site and then i will scroll down to where my feed is and then once i'm hovering over my feed i can see what is happening on my feed. That basically gives a simple explanation as to how to make a Twitter feed. Perhaps with this particular feed, you might want a wider area than what I have. I can come back over and drag it over here. It'll be the same Twitter feed I have set up. Hit publish. Then I will come over to my contact page. As you can see, the Twitter feed that we have here looks a little bit nicer than it did on the page I first showed it on. So just some things to keep in mind when putting this feed on your Weebly site. But that's an aside. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. You can click down below to subscribe to the respective channels, and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye!